Hello everyone. I have the quilt all quilted. Turned out really good. I'll uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see the quilting. See the big waves, the curves. Um, I'll show you what I used. I used these. They're my rulers um, for making uh, crazy curves. And that's how I set them, like that, and then drew the waves on there. And I used a gray chalk so you can still see the gray on there. I'll show you the back. Back turned out really good. Oops, still see thread. So there's the back. Turned out really nice. I'm happy. So I'm just going to fold over my binding from back to front and sew it on so it's done quickly. I was online this morning. I was looking at uh, different binding techniques for taking the back to the front just to see what was online and uh, I do it quite different so I am going to zoom in because I want to show you something so I have folded my backing fabric and you can see I have a basting stitch going along the whole top of my quilt um, but I want my batting to stick out a half an inch. But you have to make sure that that backing fabric is nowhere uh, to be seen. So when you lay your ruler down, you're going to line it up with your edge of your fabric, the top. And you're going to make sure that there is no backing fabric anywhere at all. Okay, let's scooch down a little bit here. So I've got the half inch right at the very edge of my quilt top. And you just want to trim it, making sure you're on that half inch mark and no backing fabric is anywhere in there. Jingles is playing with the tripod. A little bit left here. So again, I usually trim this off. I don't want any excess batting. Again, make sure that that backing fabric is nowhere that's going to come in contact with your blade. Or you're going to be crying because you're going to be doing traditional binding then. Get my half inch there. That's the last strip. So now I'm going to start with my shortest edge here and I want to take a measurement because you got to get all of your backing fabric um, to the same width. And as you can see, um, maybe you can't, I'll zoom in a little bit here. Let me move my camera. Let me zoom in just a little bit. This is the bolt edge. So it's got those lines and normally you cut that off but this is going to be tucked in um, to the binding. It's going to be tucked in just a little bit and then it's going to be flipped over. Um, just like that. 
Can you see that? So the binding, I'm sorry, the batting is filling up that little bit of a gap. See that little bit of a gap right there? So I'm almost bringing that up, just a, not quite, to the binding. You can see there's probably maybe a quarter of an inch because I need that to fold it over. And then I'm going to top stitch this. I'm going to be mitering my corners first. Um, but this is the shortest edge. So all I have to do is take a measurement from the, I'm going to do from the outside of the quilt again to the outside edge of the minky or cuddle, whatever you want to call it. So that's the first thing I have to do is make sure I've got the same measurement going all the way around. So um, I'm not going to do a mitered corner on this quilt and here's why. Um, there's just going to be too much bulk. So what I'm going to do is I've got this all trimmed um, the same going everywhere and I'm going to take this corner right down to the seam line that I basted the quilt on and I'm going to finger press this just like this so I have a line see the line there and that's going to be my cut line so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off Okay, so now I want to show you, so remember we're going to fold this in so we're about a quarter of an inch away from the batting here, okay, and then it's going to come up over like that, and then I'm going to sew that down right on this very edge here, and I'm going to go all the way, okay. Bring that to about a quarter of an inch, fold that over, this batting is filling up that and you'll pin this and then sew all the way off the edge, okay, come down, fold this up and then this will fold all the way over. like that. Might be a little hard to see, but can you see that? So then when I come and sew off this edge, that's going to encase everything right there because I'm going to go um, maybe about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't matter. The back is the back. But see, there's no bulk. That corner lays nice and flat. So I'm going to do that to each of the corners and then I'm going to start sewing. Okay, here is the finished corner of the quilt. This is the sweet pea quilt. You can see that. Here's the back. The quilt's been washed. I did have a little bit of a problem getting the gray chalk marks out. Not sure if you can see that. I don't know. I've never had that happen. Um, I did wash it with something else. You can kind of see the line right there. The gray line, I think. There it is. See it? Oh, I didn't notice it until it was already almost dry. But this is what the corners will look like when you do a fold over. And like I said, it's been washed. And held up very well. I've been using my quilt so nice and cozy with that soft 
material on the back. All right, off to my next project.